In this video, I would like to show you how to connect the Olympus 38DL Plus to the GageView Thickness program through a USB cable. The first thing you want to do is verify the communication settings on the instrument. So I'm using a VGA to USB adapter, so you can see the screen of my instrument. So to get into the communication settings, you'd press the Setup menu key, then the down arrow to COM, and press Enter. So these are the default settings for the instrument, and you can see the connection type is already set to USB, which is what we want. So from here, I can press the red measure key. So now you can go ahead and connect the USB cable to the instrument and also to your PC. If you're connecting it for the first time, you may be prompted in the bottom right corner that the computer is finding the device drivers for the instrument. So you just want to make sure you allow the computer to find the drivers before you start using GageView Thickness. So once the drivers are found, you can go ahead and open up GageView Thickness. So you want to make sure you have a device window and also the computer window. If for some reason you can't see both windows, you can click Window and then choose Default. So you have an upper and a lower. You can also orient these differently, but I just prefer to have the upper and lower windows. So the upper window represents the 38DL plus and the lower window represents the computer. So the first thing you would need to do is initialize the instrument. So to do that, you'd click device and then click config. So on the left, I have my device list with all the instruments. And then on the right, I have my current configured devices. So for the 38, I have two options. The one without anything in parentheses is the USB. And since we're connecting through a USB cable, that's the one I'm going to choose. So if I click that and then click Add, now 38DL Plus USB is under Current Configured Devices. So if you want GageView to automatically initialize the instrument when you open the program, you can check off Connect at Startup. So by default, if you have a file in GageView Thickness that contains waveforms and thickness data, if you transfer that file back to the instrument, only the thickness data will transfer, the waveforms will not. And the reason this is the default setting is most customers don't need the waveforms transferred back to the unit, and it also cuts down on the time it takes to transfer the file. But if you do want to have the waveforms transferred back, you would click 38DL plus USB and then click waveform transfer, and then check off transfer waveform data to gauge. So for this video, I'm not going to do that. So I just uncheck it and then click Cancel. So now I can click OK. So the instrument should now be initialized and appear in the upper window under Devices. If I click 38DL+, Plus, I'll see all the files that are on the instrument. If I click App Setups, I can see all the custom single element transducers that are on the instrument. So now that the instrument's initialized, I can transfer files or transfer transducer setups from the upper window down to the lower window into a database, or I could export a file to Excel or CSV. So you can see the additional videos we have explaining how to do that. So if the instrument didn't initialize properly, the first thing we would recommend is double checking that the USB cable is plugged into the instrument and also plugged into the computer and that the instrument is turned on. Also, you want to make sure the USB cable is plugged directly into the computer and not through a docking station. So you could also try doing a communications reset on the instrument if you're having issues. So, so if you close the program and unplug the USB cable from the side of the instrument, You would perform a communications reset on the 38 by pressing second F and then the setup menu key and then the down arrow to resets and press enter and then the down arrow to communication reset and press enter and the left arrow to highlight reset and press enter. So then you can connect the USB cable back into the 38 and open up gauge view thickness. If you're still having issues, you may want to check your device manager to see if the device drivers were properly installed. So if you click your start menu and then control panel, 
and then choose System, and then Device Manager. You should have a line titled Jungo, which is the driver name for gauge view thickness. And if you press the little arrow next to it, it should show 38 DLP and also Wind Driver. If 38 DLP is not showing or has an error, we would recommend uninstalling and then reinstalling the gauge view thickness program. You also want to make sure that there are no instruments plugged into the computer when you install the gauge view thickness program. So if you need further assistance connecting the instrument to gauge view thickness, please contact us.